Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Emmaus. And this is our van, Carmen Van Diego. Come inside. So when you first come in, this is gonna be our kitchen area. All right, so we have a propane stove um, with two burners and tea. That's not always here, we usually put that away. We have a adjustable sink so that if we wanna go outside and shower our feet or wash something off or whatever we need to do or fill up our water Brit Brita filter, we can do that. So this sink is attached to a 40 gallon fresh water tank with a filter that is actually under here. Let me show you guys. This is our 40 gallon water tank. We also have our um, printer, we have some stuff to like play outside, some extra dry food in case we are off grid for a while. This is our amazing spice rack that I enlisted my family to help me glue these little magnets on too. And so it's easy for me to spice up the food. This is our refrigerator. Um, it is a Dometic fridge. I don't know the numbers because my husband and I actually did not build this. We decided we wanted to do van life and we found somebody and they did it. So we have kombucha in here that actually just exploded right before we started this. So that was great. Um, moonshine because we're in the old Smokies, some whiskey, some veggies. Um, I call it balance, yeah. This is actually a gift that we got from our cousin. Um, it's a cutting board, it's a wedding gift, established June 24, 2020. And we made it into a door to our pantry. So you can see, again, you have to always put your hand up just in case something hits your face. So this is a lot of just dry food, coffee, honey, things, spices, rice, all the stuff that we use, snacks. Um, we eat out almost every day, all right? So this, again, will probably be there for a while. We use it a little bit uh, when we were in the Smokies, but most of the time we're eating out. This is going to be all of our drawers for, very important, collapsible things. This is a collapsible funnel so that when we're making um, kombucha, um, which I know that's weird that I'm making that, but we went to a harvest host and it was a kombucha farm. And my husband is a soda drinker, so he made a deal with me that if I made kombucha every week, that he would lay off the soda. So he's keeping up his end of the deal and I am exploding kombucha all over the ceilings, all right? <laughs> we have this drawer, which we covered ourselves. We Everything was wood when we first got in here and we painted everything white and got the drawers covered. Um, this is gonna be where our pots pan this is gonna be our tea drawer. We have our um, Nutribullet, some teas that our family like packed up. We have Haitian family, so they have a tea remedy for literally everything. And so they just pick some tea and put it in bags for us. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So now underneath of here, this is where we're gonna have a four gallon gray water tank. My husband's gym bag. We have safety first, so we do have our fire fire extinguisher, right? Um, we have all of our cleaning supplies, some extra cooking gear, our air fryer, which we use whenever we do cook, which is really, really dope. So this is gonna be safety first. All of our um, like propane detector, our carbon monoxide, all of that's right there just so we can make sure everything's good. And then this, uh, our USB charging station and our 12 gauge, I don't know, don't get me to lie. We plug stuff up and it works. That's where it goes, all right? And so all of this is our control panel. And so these are our lights. You can dim them, turn them up, turn them down, turn them off. Our cell booster, super important because we're entrepreneurs, so we do need Wi-Fi occasionally. And so when you turn it off, you have pretty much nothing. <laughs> if you turn it on, it boosts you a couple bars, which is really cool. It's a Wi-Fi Wii Boost, I believe, um, from Verizon, I wanna say. Then we have a water pump um, so that when you turn this on, you'll hear it. It now brings the water out. So we can use this, we can use the shower, we can also use the outdoor shower in the back, which we'll get to in a second. And then coolant pump, which is makes our water hot. And so this is especially good right after we stop driving. It runs the water past the plates the heated plates that were heated once we were driving and then it heats the water to actually being pretty warm. Um, so we do that right after we stop driving. And then this right here is our inverter. And so this is going to allow us to take our um, battery energy and use it to plug in I don't know, I'll let my husband talk about that, but I just know I can read on here when it's about to die. That's what I know, and I need to turn this on to make our, anything that is actually plugged in with the prongs, that's what we have to start. So if you learn anything from me, you don't have to be tech savvy to be able to run a bus or to be able to start van life, you know what I mean? You can just 
start and learn it on the way, okay? Or not learn it and still just use it, okay? <laughs> so this is important. This is something I do know, Victron Energy. This lets us know real time how much time we have left until we die. All of our batteries die. And so we have 34 hours left if everything is running the way that it is now. And then over here, I put these things up. It's just magnetic just little strips so that we can put up our knives and our spatulas just to save as much space as possible. And my husband actually added this. I was a little against it at first, but now I love it. It is our full size mirror for me, at least when you flip it this way, because <laughs> it's extremely magnetized. So I can kind of see my whole little short body or if I angle it down, I can kind of see all the way down to my feet. So this is cool. We guys, we, we did the nine to five and you know, to us, we knew that we just wanted to change. Uh, we wanted to be able to live more free. And that's where entrepreneurship came. And after doing it for a couple of years, uh, being able to now live in a van, um, I mean, a lot of people always ask us, hey, how are you guys able to afford this? What do you guys do for work while you're on the road? And yeah. I mean, so we've been we've been retired from nine to five for about now eight years. Yeah, quite some time. Um, yeah, quite some time. And we've we've just we've ventured into a lot of different things just because we did not want to have to work a nine to five. So it was right. like whatever we had to do, whether it was an ice cream truck, whether we started our own car dealership, we've done network marketing. And so I, we've started actually a university that's called mm -hmm. Freedom, Freedom University. University. Oh, and based off uh, the book. <laughs> the book, <laughs> the ice. So my baby is now an accomplished author. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and um, and what we did was just took experiences because a lot of people asked us, how can you travel the world and not have to work? And so we put some of our most lucrative ways inside that book. It's a really quick read. What you need, how much it is to start, you know, how long it takes to make a certain amount of money and all of that. And so then from that idea, Came Freedom University, which is pretty much a university for people that may want to try an alternate free. way and just want to gain freedom. So a lot of different ways to make passive income. So two that we're focusing on right now through van life is for me, Airbnbs. I've had Airbnbs um, for now about six, seven years, and I've just started teaching people how to do it because honestly, I was forced to. People came into my DM and sent me money and was like, <laughs> you need to show me how to yeah, do she, it. And I was like, oh, yeah, well. She was always great uh, <laughs> with just running the business yeah. and, you know, just people were just asking, hey, how are you able to do this? How are you able always to have answer that freedom? Through DMs and right. stuff, but it just people want it like step by step. So I was like, all right, let me actually like give a play by play of how to do it and how to automate it because now we're at the point where I don't run it at all and I'm traveling and just have a team of people that run it where I don't even see my properties, get new ones and am able to just kind of oversee if there are any emergencies, which rarely happen. So it is true passive income. And then I call my baby the toilet <laughs> king because but, Yeah, I mean does. basically um I a couple of years ago I've always wanted to find a way to get online because I felt like the world was transitioning into, you know, look at Amazon and you know, all these companies that are based online now. And I knew that that's something that I wanted to get into. So I just had to find a product and I found a nice little niche uh, in the bathroom space, uh, like she mentioned, uh, toilets, right? And uh, I just, you know, seems weird, but hey, look, you can be a millionaire for anything, right? And uh, I just started selling toilets and different things um, online. And it just started to grow really fast. And we've been blessed to be able to have over a six figure a year uh, business um, with the e-commerce and you know her with her Airbnb and it's, it's just been an amazing experience um, um, just selling those products. And so this is our mini shower. We really wanted to make this feel as much like home as possible if we were gonna move from a actual stationary place to being on the road all the time. And so we got this really cool shower tile that my friend's mom told us to do green. I wanna do everything white. And she was like, no, you need some pops of color. Do what you want, you only live once. And so we got green and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite parts of the van. And so we can go to the bathroom. It's a compost toilet, a Nature Heads compost toilet where you kind of aim for the holes in the front for the liquids and then you aim in the back for the deuces okay and we have these little things our incense we have our spray just in case anything happens and then the most important thing you need to spray vinegar after toilet 
runs just so everything because it doesn't flush so it actually has no smell we have had no smell in here um it's just you know just to wash everything down so sounds a little gross bob right here is our third passenger and so he does a lot for us he is our coffee table whenever we want to sit up there at the in the front cab and drink coffee or play games this is also our third passenger seat so if anybody wants to sit there and ride with us and then this also is our laundry so we dump our dirty laundry in there and it completely keeps it smell proof so um yeah it's, it's pretty dope all right guys so we just did the east wing of the mansion now we're going to do the master bedroom and the west wing of the mansion so this first area i jokingly say this is like our spa area that has all of our lotions and hair products baby hair gel all of the above toothpaste all of that and then over here is going to be our master library this will be our master pharmacy okay and spa number two and so this is going to be all of our super green food capsules our makeup removing stuff basically whatever we need to be able to stay healthy this is our current favorite doctor right here it's a superfood vitamin so that we can get all our veggies in <laughs> and then over here is our multimedia room slash game room and so this is going to be all of our drones all of our electrical things that we need all of our like really fun games an adult coloring book because why not okay <laughs> all that stuff is in here and then this is actually my babe's toy and i didn't think we needed this but i'm so glad that we got it he mounted this himself he's such a, such a freaking sexy handyman all right and so we pull this down and we do a we just have movie night and it's really really fun so it's a 72 inch screen and we have it with a fire stick where we just wash stuff off of our computer and kind of mirror it so we have his stuff over here this is this designer section he's very high end over here with his louis and all this really cool stuff and so his stuff is he has a lot of stuff i probably have a little bit more um this is the california closet of my section and as you can see they're all engraved sections um for shirts for athletic wear for bralettes for all of my just my my hair stuff my wigs all that stuff is back there all right and then the extra thing which i really love because you always need more storage is we use these pillows as extra holding and extra storage so all of our coats are in here all of our like pants are in one every single one of these pillows except for the two that we sleep on are going to be filled with things all right so that we can be ready for any weather or any occasion all right so let me tell you what's underneath each of these this is going to be all of our cooking supplies and also our heater is under there so if you look right here if you can see it's a wabasto heater we actually started van lifing in during christmas actually the day before christmas and so um this came in handy and it comes out right here it shoots the air you know hot air and it gets really warm in here so i love that we also have a face steamer all types of cooking utensils all of our laundry stuff in this area this is our outdoor section underneath of this um it's going to have our all of our like inflatables our hammock um our swing for that we hang up up here um it also has toiletries our roller blades all the outdoor stuff over here is just a little bit more storage for like clothing really bulky things our sleeping bag is over here and then all of our electrical is under here and you can see whenever things go out we just master reset it with this control board i believe is what it's called um and our max air fan so that's happened a few times where our max air fans will give us the green light of death if you guys have ever been in a van you know it's the green light of death and it just will keep blinking and so we just master reset it down there and so the last piece of storage up here is going to be for our shoes we legitimately i mean this is how real van lifers keep their shoes when we first moved in it was like perfectly neat and you can find everything they're just thrown up there now we have like over 50 pairs of shoes in here because you never know if you're going to get invited to see the president or if you're going to be camping so you know you got to be prepared for every occasion so another thing that we're really passionate about i think is just um showing people what's possible not only right. just in financial life not only just in freedom but also just in representation right because i think he and i were both from inner city areas he's from brooklyn i'm from baltimore and i'm gonna tell you it wasn't any um van lifers right, right? <laughs> that looked like us heard of it. Never, never heard of it never my friends was it. like hey this is what i'm gonna do yeah <laughs> it, it wasn't even a thing even not even van life but just traveling the world it's like you right. take your two weeks of a lot of vacation and that was just the norm and that's what we 
we thought we had to do up until retirement, right? And so I feel like being able to just now see what's possible and seeing more people that look like us out in van life, it makes it feel more, I don't know, safe and easy to do. It's kind of like if you see somebody else doing it, you're like, oh, I can do it too, right? right. And, and that's how I feel because the number one thing that people asked us, they were like, black people do that? I don't right, know. Right, <laughs> like right, literally right. we just got that yesterday. We're like, I don't never heard a black person doing, you know, RVing and van life thing and so But a lot of, but, but surprisingly since um we've posted like our YouTube, like a yeah. video, people have been reaching out to us and it's just been that a welcome start. community asking us questions. Yeah. So it's, it's so it's like inspiring, it's and, inspiring. Uh, and people inspired us, so we figured we inspire yeah. others as well. Yeah, I think feel like you gotta pass it on whenever right. you find something that you love and that you're just like, look, I can do this and I and I enjoy it. You have to share it with other people just so that they can know that it's possible and then they might be able to try it too so our advice is just to rent one for a weekend see right. if you can live in it if you can then just find a way to get get it done whether you have to just put a mattress in a van at first and then build it as you go or if you did like us and we're like look we don't really know how to build anything and we don't necessarily have the desire to and so right, right, we're gonna exactly. find somebody who can it's more and more van places conversion places popping up and you have good old youtube university that can show you how to pretty much do anything so all right guys so this is actually one of my favorite parts about the van is our foyer wall um, where we just have um well one of my favorite pictures is our wedding picture see mrs mr and mrs so that's something that i really like and just all different types of cars my wife likes to just cut, take out picture frames and just hang it up makes it she's a great designer right so she did her thing right here another cool thing is uh we actually have these little plants up here and the way that we actually were able to keep it from falling off every time that we drive or hit a little bump is actually velcro in it right here so we have velcro right under this one right here and then we just kind of put it on right here on the counter and all you have to do is just push it down and look sturdy and we do that for each and every one of these you know i'm a, a little big so sometimes my arm might knock it down and my wife gets mad but we just put it right back on and it's durable it doesn't break all right guys and look at this right here this just pops right on up and sometimes we use this while we're cooking um, just to kind of give us some extra space but for me um, i like using it as my office we have a swivel chair right here that just turns around and you can just imagine me just working right here enjoying a beautiful view you know as we work as i'm working but you know it's one of my favorite things and when, once we want to put it down all we do is click it right here and it goes down just like that, all right? So we also have this cool little table right here that whenever we wanna either eat dinner or set up an office or just kinda just relax, play some games, we just kinda just pull it out from right here and then we just go back here and right under it is actually a little clip. So they have like these little steps. Um, actually, they have, um, it's like this little pole that we actually keep under this seat right here and we just screw it in pops right on in we have two of them and then we just sit the table right on top and from there we have a nice little dining room slash office slash whatever we want to make it table <laughs> so we actually have a dehumidifier right here set up for us as well it's pretty cool actually you could just take it off uh, once this actual little strip right here turns blue which it is right now we just have to actually plug it in and you leave it outside we just plug it in outside for about two hours or so and then everything turns yellow means that it's dry ready to get patched right back here all right and when it's time to go to sleep it's pretty simple so right now you can see it's a living room right or a conversation area <laughs> and um what we do is just pretty much pull some things out the, the comforters and the, and the actual bedding uh pillows and everything we move it around and then there's like these two little bars that we kind of put together this wooden bars and if you can see here they have these little clips embedded right here this little space where we actually put it in there's four of them and then we just kind of pull these tops off and it just lays perfectly right in the middle you can actually even just do this part and it becomes like a little u-shaped couch and then you know once you put this one here it's a bed which is pretty cool and of course once it's time to go to sleep you know we have uh our magnetic window covers that just pops on right here 
we have one for pretty much every window so this is one right here for this window so you could just kind of just it's pretty simple just throw it right on here sorry plants <laughs> and then it just covers up the window and then this last one here you just throw it up right here and then it's dark right <laughs> and it's perfect so it's pretty cool and um if you guys can see these patches, uh, we get really excited about it because these are all the places that we've got to, the chance to visit. You know, starting off with Atlanta, all the way to the Great Smoky Mountains, and it's gonna just keep getting more patches, and eventually, all of these will have patches. So we're excited for the journey. This is our second office back here uh, that we have, which is pretty cool. We could actually just pull down these little clips, pop it all out a little stuck but here you go pull this out so it keeps it sturdy and guess what freedom right so we just kind of just relax it down and do our work um, you know sometimes we put a little food here eat you know have a good lunch so it's pretty cool and guess what we have a gym right here in the van right in the back right so you have these cool pull-up bars that I could just grab and work out really quick whenever I want and I love it. Turn around, get some ab action. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it, right? But we could also close this door, which is amazing, and go on a journey with our bikes, which I really love. So we got the hers and his, or his and hers. Um, after a couple of rain showers and driving in seats that are wet, we decided to get these little seat covers. And what we do is we actually just remove it. We have this cool um, bike, um, I guess you could say um, a bike rack, I guess it's a bike rack, right? And um, that actually just goes on top of this ladder, it clips right here. To me, it was a great find because, you know, I didn't want to have to get the whole hitch and not be able to open the doors or have to take apart everything. So this thing just clips right here to this ladder and we just hook these bikes right on here. Great find. And it was super inexpensive. And whenever we want to go top to our second floor to the roof, we just take it off, climb the ladder and enjoy. All right, guys. So we also have an outdoor shower, which is pretty cool. Whenever we want to use it, we just kind of open this little thing right here pull this out it just kind of clips in right there and we also have like a hook that we just take out from this little storage area clip it on right here with that velcro and it sits right in there and you can shower Alright guys, well thank you so much for visiting us in Carmen. Yeah, thanks Van for coming Diego. to our home. Next time we're gonna give you some cookies and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nikki and my social media is Nikki underscore underscore Ferd F E R D. Had to change my name once I got married because the regular Nikki Ferds were taken. So. Right, right, right. And I'm Emmaus and um, my Instagram handle is Emmaus, which is E M M A U S. Ferdinand, like Ferdinand the Bull, so Emmaus Ferdinand. I'm, I think I'm the only one on there, so it'll be pretty much <laughs> very easy to find. And our business website is www.myfreedomuniversity.com where you can find our courses. You can actually purchase our book. The book is also on Amazon. So. And you can get free ebooks in there, the chapters, if you yeah, want to just right, like kind right. of figure out. We do want to give value and inspire you just to see if entrepreneurship is for you. So, um, yeah, we, we love to see it. And we can't wait for you guys to enroll. Yay, yes, class of yes. And also check out our YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is it? Love and Love and Biz. Love and Biz. Right. Love and <laughs> and it'll reroute you to our YouTube and you can see our journey and our travel. So, see you guys on the road. Peace. Bye. Love.